Everybody, Keith Jones behind the binoculars here at Parks for Monday, October 15th. A very overcast sky. We did have some rain here this morning. However, the track does not appear to be in bad shape. Probably got away with a good race track. We'll take a look at races 5 and 9 today. The fifth race of 8 and special weight for two-year-olds. They'll be going a distance of six furlongs. I'd like number seven, spot me if you can. Young horse coming in for Treader Ben Perkins Jr. Chris DiCarlo gets the ride. One start under his belt. That debut came here at Parks. He was the second choice of the wagering that day. Went off at 5-2, to two, so he was well regarded in his debut. And he went well. He finished second behind a horse named Splice the Main Brace, who ran a big race out of the Butch Reed Barn that afternoon. So no disgrace in running second that day. And also was well ahead of the third horse, so a very good debut. Now with that experience under his belt, we'll be putting blinkers on today. And we'll also be getting Lasix for the first time. And you put those things together, I like number seven, spot me if you can, in race number five today. An interesting horse to take a look at back in the ninth race. It is a six furlong claiming race, Phillies and Mares, offered for 7,500 non winners of three. Now, the program choice number four, Angry Patty, last year was up at Suffolk Downs against a 30 and $35,000 types, and then took about 11 months off and came back at her seasonal debut at a minor restricted stake up at Finger Lakes, did not go well and is now being offered for $7,500 today. So that is uh, one of those cases where you do not like the drop, but you certainly don't ignore it. So instead, let's try number 11, Queen Fantabulous, who was opening up at 15 to 1. Now, it was claimed last time out for 5000 by trainer Silvio Martin. Silvio's barn has certainly heated up here of late. Joe Mar Garcia will get the ride. Now, when that uh, Parks debut last time out for 5000 had issues at the beginning, and so we're going to be able to dismiss that race. So let's go back to the form at Monmouth Park in the prior two races against Conditional 7500 and was very competitive in both of those races, did win one of them, was second in the other. And if she is able to run back to either of those two races, and again, in this kind of company that she was very competitive in, in those two starts up at Monmouth Park, she might have a chance at a decent price. Again, 15 to 1 is the morning line choice. And again, if she can run back to those September races at Monmouth Park, I think she has a good shot. So race number nine, let's try the 11 Queen. Fantabulous.